Hello and welcome to the Slow Music Movement radio show for the nice people in Denmark. Music for dreams. Check out their radio station if you haven't already. Loads of great, chilled, laid-back, balearic shows going 24-7. Right, I'm kicking off this week with James Stephen Finn. Now, I might be a little bit biased, but this is a wonderful track from the brand new EP that's coming out on July the 16th on the Slow Music Movement Records. And uh, yeah, it's wonderful. Piano, guitar, glitchy, electronic, electroacoustic. This is what it sounds like. Thank you. 
So some great glitchy electroacoustic tunes there back to back. As I say, kicking off with James Stephen Finn from the new EP coming out on the Slow Music Movement Records on June the 16th. It's a really nice four track EP. Check it out on the Bandcamp page. It'll also be on Spotify, Apple Music and all that. After that was Tomotsugu Nakamara, a track called Resolution from his forthcoming LP, which is wonderful future folk music. Uh, the LP is called Literature. It's coming out on the LAAPS Laps record label. After that was Freda Nagao from an in-fine compilation of artists who were stuck at home during the lockdown, a track called Menschenlier. And after that, Apta. He's an up-and-coming producer from Manchester who I'm really fond of um, since discovering him a few weeks ago, and that was the title track from his latest EP called Sun. You can find that on his Bandcamp page, Apta, A-P-T-A. In the background, James Bernard, a track called Embrace from a really nice compilation. It's a, a cosmic Koshmish Journey Through Outer Worlds and Inner Space is the compilation it's from and this is his contribution to it. I think it's the might well be the it's either the opening or closing track of the compilation. It's called Embrace.
So, time for a recap, I guess. We're not to play, so I'll add into the wrong <laughs> Right, loads of tracks to catch up on. Um, where were we? Yeah, finished off with James Bernard Embrace. I think that was the last track I mentioned from the excellent Cosmish compilation. After that was a track called Idle Patterns by another new discovery um, called Balm. That I'm quite taken with. They've just released a fantastic debut LP. Um, called Mauve, self-released on their Bandcamp page. Check them out. There's a, a Portuguese guy, an English guy, based in Amsterdam, destined for uh, good things, I believe. After that was Nikic and Kuna Mays, a track called La Fin, and that's forthcoming, I think, on True Thoughts Records uh, from their debuts. LP, full of all sorts of nice, soulful, jazzy, Latin, broken beats and future boogie. After that, Blundetto, he's always a reliable source of nice laid back global flavours. He's released a new album recently, that was my favourite cut off the album called Pais Suzuka. The album is called Good Good Things. Check that out on Heavenly Sweetness. After that was the George Semper Orchestra track called Cosmic Funk. Now that's some vintage, vintage music that's been re-released on a fine compilation called Inner City Review. And that's come out on Giles Peterson's new reissue label, ARC, which is obviously going to be a reissue label to keep your eye on. All right, not feeling too guilty about talking after the over this track here. It's, it's about 350 minutes long. It's, um, it's by Fred and Luna, a German production duo that uh, I'm always interested in what they're doing. They've just uh, released a, a new album on Compost Record called Im Weltenarm. And this track in the background, Funky Future Beats, is called Ein Gans Normale.
told you it was a long track. Ein Gans Normler Tag. Next up, Third Eye Jungle Run, live version for Joyce.
that's one I called up. That's a killer tune called Zero Gravity from a Japanese-based crew called Dub Citizen. Now, there's a studio there. I'm going to probably forget the name or mispronounce it. I think it's called Haz- Hazukash Studio. Uh, they come out with all sorts of um, global-leaning jazz, jazz full of Afro-Latin worldy flavours. And then the last release they popped out was this killer dub release by Dub Citizen um, with a few of the jazz players on a deep dub tip. Uh, it doesn't get much better than that. So, uh, yeah, that's the title track from the EP. I urge you to track that down. Right, I'm going to psych things up to end the show. In the background, to Merwa, a tune called... Uh-uh, no, this is Compro Oro. I do apologise, uh, a tune called Merwa.
Okay, last tune from me, and it's the opening track from the forthcoming James Stephen Finn EP. Four tracks coming out July 16th, well worth a listen. And don't forget to check the social media while you're at it. One recommendation a day, loads of good music flowing through the um, social media channels of the slow music movement. So come and say hello. But until next time, over and out. See you later.